a reading from the second book of Kings. The king of Assyria invaded all the land and came to Samaria. For three years he besieged it. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria captured Samaria. He carried the Israelites away to Assyria. He placed them in Hala on the, on the Haber, the river of Gozan, and in the cities of, Medi, of the Medes. This occurred because the people of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, who had brought them up out of the land of Egypt, from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. They had worshipped other gods and walked in the customs of the nations whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel. Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes in accordance with all the law that I commanded your ancestors and that I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. They would not listen, but were stubborn, as their ancestors had been, who did not believe in the Lord their God. They despised his statutes and his covenant that he made with their ancestors and the warnings that he gave them. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. None was left but the tribe of Judah alone. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry, now restore us. You have caused the land to quake. You have torn it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. You have made your people suffer hard things. You have given us wine to drink that made us real. Give victory with your right hand and answer us, so that those whom you love may be rescued. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not go out, O God, with our armies. O grant us help against the foe, for human help is worthless. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Alleluia! Alleluia! Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and active. It probes the thoughts and motives of our heart. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not judge, so that you may not be judged. For the judgment you make, you will be, so, for with the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye, while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. I read this and I'm reminded of this bad joke. <clears throat> bad enough joke to put on that virtual cafe probably, but anyway, there it's these uh, these two guys are drinking in the bar and uh, and they've been a 
they've been there for a few hours and finally uh joe says to his buddy uh to, to his buddy uh, jerry he says jerry you got to stop drinking you're getting blurry it's it's indicative is that what what we see as faults in others is oftentimes really something that is that 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 we dislike in ourselves that we or the, you know and, and psychologists call it projection but it's been we've, we've known about this <laughs> since i guess humanity's been doing this all along because saint augustine sort of uh, talked about this in a sense too saint augustine said something to the effect of if you um you know if you see the fault in someone else a, a defect in in your brother work on the virtue in yourself that you that of that defect you know so if if you see somebody who's you know uh, who gossips a lot well work on prudence and temperance in your life because you know that the that's sort of the in a sense the remedy to 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 gossip is that the the virtues of prudence and, and temperance maybe and so you know or whatever it may be work on the on the virtue saint augustine says if you do that you're no longer going to see it in your neighbor in your brother if you you see gossiping in someone and and you find them there's such a there's such a gossip they they talk all the time out of turn and you know about and you work on the virtues of, you know of, of prudence with your tongue and things like this and and not saying those things you're not going to see it in others as well because you're not going to be projecting it because the whatever you what you see in others is often what it what is an actual defect in you. This is, in a sense, what Jesus is saying, is take the log out of your own eye before you can take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. That's, that's something that's been around for way before Jesus' time. It's, we've never, it's part of, of human nature. To, to judge others, and it's and it's part of human nature to try and and judge, judge others for the faults that we see in ourselves, and it's it's a way of I don't know masking it in ourselves or whatever it is, hiding it, not wanting other people to see it in us, so we accuse others of it. But this is this is what God is asking us to do. He's asking us. To, to work, change our hearts. Stop worrying about everybody else. Stop worrying about the world around us. Change our hearts. This has been, you know, G.K. Chesterton wrote a, an essay, or his answer to an essay writing contest about what is wrong with the world was two words, I am. I'm what's wrong with the world. If I can change, then I can make effect change in the world. This time when we see everything, you know, where we can have a tendency to to look on all the things wrong in our world, all the things that are going, you know, to hell in a handbasket or however you want to term it, we first have to change our hearts. We're never going to change others. We're never going to change the world unless we first change our heart. Unless we first turn back to Jesus, turn ever more to Jesus. Who is the way, the truth, and the life.